The Interoceanic Highway Project is a $1.3 billion construction effort to build a paved roadway that will connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans across the South American continent. Two consortiums, led by Brazilian construction giants Odebrecht and Camago Correa, are working to construct 1,000 kilometers of asphalt paved road by the end of 2009. The project presents a formidable engineering challenge, crossing some of the most breathtaking geography on the continent and some of the most difficult to traverse. In the high Andes Mountains, the road reaches elevations above 14,500 feet, where merely breathing can be a challenge and there is little defense against the bitter cold. Asphalt paving in this altitude is limited to only a few hours each day, and the thin air slashes equipment production by as much as a third. Just a few hundred kilometers away, the highway winds through the sweltering Amazonian rainforest. Here the rainy season runs from November through April, and the annual rainfall can be measured in feet, not inches. Ground saturation can bring construction to a complete halt for the entire season, and hundreds of small waterways that cross the roadway become insurmountable barriers. Often extensive preparation work is needed, particularly in the difficult terrain known as the eyebrow of the jungle, where the steep ridges of the Andes meet the Amazon rainforest. Extensive clearing of right-of-way is needed here, but environmental concerns are limited since the project follows existing roads. In addition to these problems, there are legions of smaller obstacles to be overcome, many arising from the fact that the roadway is often the primary transportation corridor for the rural communities it borders, and, as a result, is used extensively by the residents. The construction is being conducted from temporary work camps built along the highway in the Peruvian interior. These camps have administrative offices, machine shops, laboratory facilities, and other necessities for remote construction work. Industrial camps have also been put in place to process the bulk of materials needed for the roadway. In addition, smaller concrete mixers, asphalt plants, and stone crushing facilities are constantly in use along the work zone. Bridges are a key element of the project. The best spans on the route are decades-old military bridges, but more often none exist at all. As a result, hundreds of bridges will be built to allow free travel along the highway and to protect the road surface from erosion. For now, work crews are constantly shoring up the existing rude bridges to allow passage for the construction equipment until the road is complete. The greatest obstacle is the Madre de Dios River at Puerto Maldonado, where there is no bridge and traffic must use ferries. Today, the primary mode of transport along the highway are the occasional gas trucks with cargo space on the top. The hope is the new roadway will connect the continent and will be the catalyst that leads this remote section of Peru into the modern world.